what up what up welcome back everyone to another tutorial series and in this one we are going to be learning how to create discord bots now just as a heads up you are going to have to have a basic knowledge of python and also some kind of familiarity with discord and by that i just mean if you ever use discord before then you're going to be good you just can't be coming into it you know empty-handed but in terms of Python, if you ever set up a basic project before and you know what variables and functions are, you're going to be good. Now, another thing that I want to mention before we get started is that if you have any questions throughout this tutorial series, then what you can do is you can sign up for the new Boston Discord. And there's a link in the YouTube description below. So go ahead and click that to join. And then if you go to the tech Discord bot, in here, it's empty right now because I just created it, but if anyone has any questions, suggestions, even feedback, feel free to leave it in here. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing that we're actually gonna do is we are gonna create a new server. And this Discord server is gonna be the testing grounds for our bot development, somewhere where we can play around with and, uh, you know, like I said, just test everything out. So click the button right here, this plus button, and I'm just gonna hit create my own server. Now you can actually skip all these questions if you want. And for the server's name, let's just do something like uh, TNB, TNB tutorials. All right, looks good enough. So go ahead and hit create and there you go. So really in these tutorials, it's probably only gonna be me and my bot in here. So as you can see now, it's empty, that's fine for now. Next thing we're gonna to have to do is go ahead and set up our bot and we're gonna do this through the Discord developer portal. So go ahead and open browser and the URL at this point in time, I don't know if they're gonna change it in the future, but it's just discord.com slash developers slash applications. And it may ask you to log in, just log in with your regular uh, Discord username. And then you're gonna be taken to a page that looks like this. But the first thing that we're gonna be doing in this Discord developer portal is just creating a new application. Now, just to give you guys a quick overview of what we're about to do. So we are about to create an application. And then once we have our application, we can add a bot to it. And then after the bot permissions are set up, we are just gonna link it to our server, basically to include our bot in the server. So the first thing we wanna do is give it a name and I'm just gonna name this application tutorials bot. So that looks good. Go ahead and hit create. And all right, looking beautiful. So the next thing I'm actually gonna to wanna to do once I have this created is hop down to where it says bot on the left and we're just going to go ahead and add a bot. So adding a bot, yada yada, looks good. Let's do it. A wild bot appeared. Sounds like a Pokemon. Very cool. All right. So now we have our bot added to our application. And before we move ahead, I do want to go ahead and have you guys scroll down to this privilege gateway intent section. Now we don't actually need this for the first few tutorials. However, I'm just going to go ahead and have you guys toggle both of these on right now and that is presence intents and server member intent. So go ahead and toggle those both on, save those changes. And to give you guys a quick overview, again, I don't wanna to get too into this right now, but just to explain what we just did. Now, if we click this link called gateway intents, and this is actually something that just changed recently, but it pretty much sums it up right here, where in Discord, intents, are groups of events. That's it. That's all you have to remember. A Discord intent is a group of events. Now, what does this mean? So the messages intents are like whenever you create, update, and delete messages. So these are the events, and they're just grouped together in something called an intent. Now, something else, like reactions, whenever you thumbs up or thumbs down or add a smiley face to something, adding those, removing those, removing all of them, yada, yada. All of these events are grouped together into something called an intent. Now, some of these intents are privileged, which means that they just have some sensitive data related to it. So Discord just treats those a little bit uh, special. So that's why in here we're saying 
Yes, since this is a tutorial and we pretty much want all the privileges, then we're just gonna toggle those on right now. So again, not really important for just getting set up, but just wanna you know give you guys the information of what we're doing. So anyways, back to this setup process. Once we have these two toggled on and saved, let's go to OAuth 2. And then if we scroll down, what we wanna do is in this OAuth 2 section under scopes is we wanna select bot. So what this is saying is what functionality do we want this application to have? And since this is of course a Discord bot tutorial, it's uh, pretty easy to guess that we wanna give it bot functionality. And another thing, you guys probably couldn't see it because I'm a little bit zoomed in here, but once we select bot right here, the section below is gonna appear called bot permissions. And what we are going to do under bot permissions is just select admin. Now what this is saying, I'm sure you guys can guess this as well, is that we want our bot to be able to do anything a Discord admin can do. Now just a heads up, you typically do not wanna choose administrator right here you typically want to limit your bot to whatever you actually need it to do, whatever permissions you need to give it and no more. However, in this tutorial series, since we're going to be touching a lot of different areas, I'm just going to go ahead and give it admin permission so we don't have to come back and keep tweaking it, so on and so forth. But anyways, that is what we are going to do to set it up. So again, scopes, bot, bot permissions, admin, and now, the, well, I guess one of the last steps is if you copy this URL right here, then you can go ahead and open up a new tab in your browser and just paste this in. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And this is saying that, okay, you told me that you wanted to create a bot. Now, what server do you wanna hook it up to? And of course, ours is just TMB Tutorials, the one that we just created a couple minutes ago. Go ahead and hit continue. Yep, everything looks good. And I have to make sure I am not a robot. And all right, looking good. You may know, now close this window or tab. So I will do that. Now I'm gonna pop open Discord again and check it out. So when you pop open Discord, you now are gonna see your bot that is offline. And that is really all we need to do for this initial setup. Going to your developer portal, creating an application, creating a bot, and then linking your bot to your Discord server. And if all goes well, you should see that you now have your bot offline. Again, if you get lost in any of that or something didn't work out or something has changed from the time I made this tutorial to when you're watching it, then always feel free to go in our the new Boston Discord. And this Discord bot section, anyone will be able to help you out. There's people online all the time. So for now, thank you guys for watching. And in the next video, we're gonna be getting our hands dirty setting up the Python source code, and actually writing some code. It's gonna be awesome, I'll see you guys then.